Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Ivy and I do reviews on bags. I do a little bit of fashion. We'll hopefully get to vlogs at some point. Um, but yeah, thanks so much for tuning in. Today I have a pretty exciting review that I'm gonna do. Um, it's a bag that I waited some time before I wanted to do a review about it because I really wanted to get a lot of use out of this bag. So the bag that I am featuring today is going to be this Chloe bag. Yes, she is absolutely gorgeous. Um, I featured her in one of my other bag related videos. But before we get started with this review, I kind of wanted to just, you know, do a small little b-roll clip of how I got this bag. So before we get started on the actual review, a little bit of background as to how I purchased this bag and things like that. So as you can see from the b-roll clips, I can't really do a legit unboxing because um, first off, I purchased this in Las Vegas a couple months ago now. I want to say like six or seven months ago. And it was not something I could bring back in all of its packaging. I couldn't even bring back the box. They actually had to mail it to me. And so as much as I wanted to do a legit unboxing and have that clip ready here, I couldn't really do that because I, the way I took it on the plane was I already had it you know, completely unboxed and I was wearing it. And yeah, the cool thing is that the store was definitely nice enough to actually ship me the box that it came in, which as you can see is this beautiful big Chloe box with a kind of ribbon on it as well. Um, it was really, really beautiful and it fits the bag perfectly, actually with a little more room. And they told me specifically when I, even when I was still trying to get the box home with me, they said, for sure it's not gonna fit in your suitcase. It's really big. We'd rather just ship it to you. And they did, they shipped it for free, which is awesome. Points for Chloe there. Um, so yeah. Other than that, um, the bag is really just known for that beautiful gold tone color, as you can see, and it does come with two separate straps, um, and, and it does come with that dust bag, which honestly could be a little bit better. Some of the dust bags I've seen from other brands are less translucent, you know, a little thicker. Uh, this one's fine, um, but yeah, I really love that thick large strap. That's really cool. And yeah, that's pretty much it from this little faux unboxing. So moving on to the actual review, um, let's get started with just the technical features that you'll find in this bag. First off, we do have this wonderful magnetic clasp, which I absolutely love. This specific bag is in the color Modi Gray, which is super popular. It's something that I think they've had as an original color or style even before, and it keeps coming back because people love it that much. And it does come with a multi-colored gold tone and silver hardware, which I think is so beautiful. To be honest, I'm not a silver tone kind of girl. I love sticking with my golds. It just looks better on my skin tone. Um, but for some reason, for this bag, it's really great. And I love it because I do have um, a white gold ring. My engagement ring is made out of white gold. So I love wearing and pairing these two things together because it looks less awkward when you have that mixture um, or the when you're using two different toned hardwares. But yeah, so just moving on to the actual texture. So it's made out of this smooth, I believe, Napa leather. I'll make sure to correct myself down below in the description box if I do get that wrong. But it is this sort of smooth, very smooth leather and a suede leather on the outer rims here. Uh, it kind of goes inside as well. And in the inside, you have a beige colored sort of cloth material. It is not suede. It's definitely really nice. One thing to note is you will see that the Chloe logo is right here in the front of the clasp and also at the top here sort of embedded in the actual bag. It has this beautiful belt design that kind of wraps around it. I like that style particularly because I think it reminds me of something very like saddle-like. It's just the design itself I think is really beautiful. It's a mixture of boho but still kind of chic. It's not the kind of 
style you'll find in other brands and I think Chloe does a really good job of mixing that sort of boho chic style together and I think that is what they're known for which is why I gravitated towards this design because it's so different it's a lot more different than some of the other designs from the other fashion houses but yeah as you can see it already has this attached short leather strap which is removable you can remove this right here with the clasp I like to keep it like this because I love using this as a shoulder bag. Secondly, it also comes with a larger strap, which is very, very easy to clasp on. You just clasp it onto this thing right here. And I'll make sure to put that together once I do the mod shots, but for now, we'll just keep it sort of clean and you'll see the bag a lot better this way. Yeah, as you can see, the bag is small. This is in the small test size though. They do come in a larger size, but the sales associate told me that I should not get the larger size that it looks a lot better as this particular style and size so that's what they recommended to me and I was totally down for that because this is what I have been looking before and surprisingly it does fit a good amount of stuff even though it does look pretty small especially in my frame like that's kind of how big it is um, but I love it because it doesn't make it very easy to kind of use as a shoulder bag as you can see and yeah, so let's move forward to what you can fit inside it. Okay, so I am not a like stuff your bag kind of girl to begin with. I only focus on essentials when I'm, you know, bringing stuff with me around. So I'm not going to stuff this bag with a brim, but you will get to see how much it can fit. So first up, I have just my wallet. Very, very small, easy, but still carries a lot of stuff. That goes in there. Lipstick. AirPods, and then some glasses, of course. Very easy. Air. And then lastly, my phone, which is a big phone. This is the iPhone 12 Max Pro, so it's their largest size. And sometimes when I do have some stuff in here, I do kind of have to fiddle with it a little bit to make sure it fits. But for the most part, it should fit in pretty easily. And bam, there you go. That's how much it fits. And let's see if I could give you a better look. So as you can see, it did fit a good amount of stuff. Although for the most part, you kind of want to stick to essentials. You could probably fit a vlogging camera in there if you hold your phone. Um, at least with the one I'm using, it definitely fits in here. Um, what else? So yeah, that's pretty much it in terms of what the bag can actually fit. Um, as you can see, again, it's pretty small. so. I would say don't stuff it. Moving on to the pros on this bag. Top three things that I love is number one, this clasp is insane. Like it's so easy. Did you see that? I just push it down and it immediately finds that magnetic closure. It is one of the most secure and like just efficient ways to close your bag. I don't know if that's like of a huge importance to you, but for me, it definitely is. I've mentioned this on some of the other bags I've owned before, particularly like that super mini Gucci Marmon bag. I do not like button snap closures or things like that because they are just so inefficient. You end up having to fish for where that snap closure is, but with this bag, it is just immediate. Every single time, it always finds that magnetic closure, which I think is great. It's super easy, quick, efficient, and you don't have to fumble. You don't have to like accidentally like kind of like scratch the leather or something because you're trying to find where that closure is. That may seem really small to a lot of people, but not for me, not for this particular style for sure. Um, another thing that I love is this design. Like, have you seen any other bags like this on the market? I can tell you now, no, I have not. I don't see anything that looks like this. It is very, very unique. Just the mixture of the gold-toned hardware with silver and just what they chose as sort of the unique little features and nuances of this bag. I have not seen anything like this. And that's kind of one of the things that really made me like this bag overall is because it's so unique. The, I think the color also is great. Uh, I was definitely considering the black, but to be honest, I just think the, the beige and very neutral color of this moddy gray style 
just worked a lot better in terms of the hardware it just i think it all matches itself versus the black where the gold in the black just looks really harsh and i think it kind of takes away from the dynamic of the style so that's the reason why i chose this color lastly it's pretty resistant to scratches like i have worn the crap out of this bag in the last six months for sure and i mean you can already tell because you see how over here it looks like the leather has already kind of you know it's gotten soft it's less stiff than it was before which i'm not opposed to that some people don't like that but i think it actually shows that you know you wear the bag and you're getting use out of it so that's totally fine with me um and that's just kind of the the patina it's just the how the leather sort of wears over time anyway so yeah but at the same time like scratches nothing and you would think for a bag that has so much hardware that you're bound to get some sort of scratch but no there is no issue it is completely scratch proof okay don't quote me on that um, i might be wrong about that i'm sure if you go deep enough with your nails you could probably make a scratch but just for like regular everyday wear i haven't seen any issues which is really surprising when you make something your sort of go-to day-to-day bag and yeah, I really, I'm really impressed with the quality of the leather and just how it's held up. Um, that's top three pros for me. I mean, those are the things that honestly you look for in an everyday bag anyway. So, oh, sorry. One last thing that I love about this bag, the strap. Okay, this, I don't know what it is, but it's a game changer for me. This is going to be a little add on to my top three. So I guess it's going to be four really but I am in love with this strap. I, like many people in the past year, have been converted to the whole shoulder bag trend, which I'm still such a huge, huge fan of all things shoulder bag related. But this strap, this thick gray strap, has me gravitating towards this like particular style even more because it just, I don't know what it is. It's just so well made. It's, it's very sturdy and it just feels like even more secure in your body. And I think that because the leather or the, the design is so thick, it still has that sort of, it still presents like a very unique style to it versus wearing a shoulder bag. Also, I do like the fact that when you hold it like this, that it sits this way. I don't know, some people, when I've read other reviews, they don't like how this strap still attach when they take it off but for me i'm totally totally fine with it i actually like how that looks all together so i'm very into that whole vibe and it makes it more versatile you can really have a lot of fun dressing it up in different ways and that's kind of what i love about it hi this is editing ivy so this video is going on way way too long um than i had filmed it to be so i think what i'm gonna do is continue the rest of the video in a part two and follow up with that you know, on a later date just because i don't want this to be running for over 20 minutes or anything like that and i'll probably add the cons as well as the mod shots and how i feel about it in 2021 i'll wrap it up in that video and so yeah hopefully you guys will follow up on that one and i'll see you guys in the next video peace